Hello everyone out there on YouTube, it's me Juniper Smiles and I firstly would like to apologize for my video and audio quality. This is not as good as it could be, but I had to do the best I could in order to get this video uploaded. Uh, it was a struggle again. So I'm going to first let you guys know that I am actually using that dot cross planner from Scribbles That Matter. I started using it almost immediately after recording my review of the planner and I don't regret it at all. This planner has been a lifesaver for me, especially with how busy my life has been and how crazy things have been. So I'm really glad I got it, I'm really glad I'm using it, and I can't wait to start using it into the next year. Um, if you're curious about my review, I will link my video on it in the description. If I know how to put the little eye thingy in the corner, I'll totally do that. I just can't promise I'll know what to do and how to make that happen. So, I guess to really get started, um, I don't have a theme for this month. I kind of just went with, you know, whatever looked visually appealing to me at the time and it seemed to work out, I think, and looks pretty good in the end. I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, so yeah, you know, sometimes it's good to just go in with no plan and see what happens. So one of the reasons I haven't actually been able to upload lately is because I have been incredibly busy. My boyfriend and I actually got our first place together um, by ourselves, we're on our own, and we're also in a really cute, you know, sort of tiny house together, and things have just been pretty great overall, but also insanely busy for the both of us. Our lives have changed so dramatically since, you know, we started living together, you know, about three months ago, and now for this last month we've been in our own place completely, and it's been a lot of change uh, for, you know, me and him, and we both couldn't be happier, and, you know, it's, it's great, it's great, things are great, I'm happy. <laughs> um, because of that, I just haven't had time to, like, sit down and, you know, record or do anything, and even my planning really suffered for the month of November because of it. I'm so grateful for everything being mostly pre-set up in these planners because I would not have been able to do any bullet journaling really at all unless it was a running list if I didn't have this. I didn't even have time to journal some days. Uh, I actually decided because of how this journal is set up that if I don't sit down and plan that day that I'm not going to plan it by, like, I'm not going to go back and write everything in that I missed. I'm going to leave it blank so I can really get a good visual of my habits and, like, if I need to try and sit down more on, like, weekends, which I definitely do, to, you know, start writing out what I do on weekends so I can, like, have that tracked, um, you know. I've noticed if things get really busy, like, around holidays, I completely just don't touch my journal and I want to change that. So, like, it gives me a good way to look at that. But November suffered because... I didn't actually do any decorating at all. Um, I did, I think I did put the stamped November at the top of the monthly overview page, but there's no cover page otherwise, and I didn't do any like decorating to the weekly spreads. Um, I actually left them pretty blank other than the daily headers that I stamp in, and then that was it. There was there was no habit tracking, there was no mood tracking, there was no pictures, there was no doodles, it was just the most minimal you could possibly imagine, and it was because I was just so, so busy. And today was the last day of the month, and I was like, you know what, I had someone give a comment asking me to do a plan with me in this journal, and I really wanted to sit down and just kind of take a break and, you know, record you know, myself setting up this planner, so that's what I decided to do, and it's, I think it came along really nicely, um, I did have a couple of things that didn't work out how I planned, which I decided to keep in the video because it'll kind of give you guys, like, a visual on how, you know, even for me and, like, other people who've been doing this a long time, 
it doesn't always go as you plan and we still make mistakes and I was not thrilled with the mistake that I made with my stamp set so things happen but it's how you get past those things and what you do to recover from them I think that really matter in the end so I wanted to keep you know keep it in the video to give you guys a representation <laughs> Uh, the first thing is actually what I'm doing now. It's this, I wanted to do like a handwritten, like pretty cursive December cover thing. And I haven't written in a while except for like my to-do list. So it was just really shaky and didn't really turn out how I wanted it to. And I thought, okay, I, I can save this, right? I will, I'll use a, a red Tombow. It'll be really Christmassy and I'll just write over it and it'll, it'll look pretty. That's not what happened. Um, my Tombow was also pretty shaky looking and I just wasn't digging it. I tried to go over the black again, you know, I was trying to save it. And in the end, I just decided not to use it which is totally okay. I just stuck it back in my, you know, planning decoration box thing that I have and was like, you know, maybe I'll use it in the future. If not, there it's a double-sided thing, so maybe I'll use the back side for something. So I just put it away. Um then I figured, you know, I'll I'll go to the next best thing and I'm going to stamp my header in. So that's what I'm going to start doing now is getting my header, you know, ready to stamp in. And one of the things that I do when I'm stamping is if I am using the same stamp on more than one page, I will move between the pages to make sure that I can uh, use that stamp more effectively without having to peel it off. So you're going to get to see me do that here where I'm going to stamp one down and then flip the page and stamp down the other side. So things are going pretty good at the moment with me stamping, but it's right about here you're going to watch me make a mistake, and that mistake is what will really hurt. So um, when I go to stamp my E onto the pad, uh, I accidentally touch the ink pad and then touch the back of the page and flip it where I immediately touch it and smear it, and I was just like, oh no. So first I tried to get my fingers cleaned off as best I could, just so afraid to touch the paper again. Tried erasing what I could up because sometimes that works on like the lighter spots and it just, it didn't really work. And so I flip the page and I start finishing up the December on the monthly overview and it already wasn't in line so I just kind of just kept going at this point. I was like, ah, it's not going to be even whatever. <laughs> I don't honestly actually look at this page that often, except to check the bills I have left to pay and if I have anything that I need to actually like have planned written down, which there are a couple things that are going to go on this page, but for the most part, I don't actually use the overview page. It's a good visual for me, but that's about the extent of it. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's the big ouchy with my planner set up and now I have to try and figure out how I'm going to save my cover page from my fingerprints <laughs> um which I think I did I did an okay job I, I think it turned out pretty you know okay The first thing you're going to see me do to fix this spread is I'm going to use some of my planner society washi tape from a couple years ago and this is actually my favorite tape I have, so I try to use it sparingly. And I absolutely love how the colors match the picture that I chose on the other side. Uh, next, I'm just going to try and like find some different like stickers and stuff to cover this up. I like to use washi stickers myself, so that is what I'm going to end up using are a couple of washi stickers, which I think really tie the whole entire spread together. Um, I think me making the mistake I made actually really helped bring these two pages together in the end because it really looks 
visually pleasing, at least for me. I, I really enjoy this spread and because I haven't done any planning like this in so long and everything was so minimal for, you know, as long as it was, it was nice to get this creative outlet again and I really enjoyed the process of putting these two pages together. I also really, really like how the stamp I used showed through the washi sticker that I also used. I think it was really neat and really pretty, and I'm definitely going to use that in the future with other stickers and stamps because I really like that look. And I think the gold tape that I'm using at the end really, really tied both spreads together and made them, you know, one cohesive, you know, spread. And I do really enjoy how I decided to do my lettering for December. Um, I did use stamps, but I used some much smaller letter stamps that I have, and I think that they look really pretty, you know, for what I was going for, I guess. I don't know. It, it looks nice. It, I like how it looks. I'm very pleased with the outcome of my cover spread. The cover is really the only page that I spend so much time decorating and making look a certain way. So whenever something goes wrong, I sometimes have like a mini panic attack and I'm just like, oh, oh no, oh no. But you know, sometimes plans have to fall apart for better plans, you know, to come through. And I'm really happy with how this came out and I think it looks really nice. Hopefully you agree. One of the first things I do at the beginning of each month is I will write down all of the bills that I am responsible for that month, whether it be rent, subscriptions, uh, credit, just various different things like that. Um, I don't put down the date or the amount mostly because depending on what it is, I have it pretty well memorized for when it comes out and how much it's going to be and I'm pretty on top of that. So it's just a visual list for me to make sure I don't accidentally miss or forget anything. Um, the next thing I'm going to actually sit down and do is set up all of my weeks in advance for the headers and the dates. Uh, this just saves me time in the future that I might not potentially have. And I actually really like the journal for this reason because it's just me doing some of the easiest things to set it up and have it ready for the month, and I really appreciate that. I always start with the dates just so I know where to put my headers and I know which days are in this month and I don't accidentally just start it on a Monday because I have definitely done that in the past few times. <laughs> And because it's a pre-printed planner, I don't really have the luxury of messing up and losing a bunch of pages, so I really want to make sure I get it right the first time. Um, for the headers, I chose my more minimal font, which is, you know, just, I don't know, I, it just felt cleaner for December. And because I wanted to try and sit down and do some more decorating this month, I figured that would be a good way to do it. And in case I don't, it'll look nice and clean either way. Now, as you can tell, I am flipping through and doing all of the days at once, so I don't have to do them later. 
Um, pro tip, try and do it so you're not flipping pages and stamping on top of where you've already stamped just so you can try and avoid it smearing because I'm going pretty fast. Uh, if your ink dries quickly, you'll be fine. If it doesn't, you might accidentally press it onto the next page. So that's why I try to do it the way I do it. Wednesday was the only day I didn't do it that way and that was a mistake. <laughs> But we're actually coming to the end of my video because I did not end this very well. So if you enjoyed my video, please be sure to, you know, give me, you know, a thumbs up, leave a comment, uh, subscribe to my channel. I do want to try and upload more in the future, but because life has been so crazy, I don't know what's going to happen. So we'll see. I will continue to show you how this planner is working for me and how much I'm enjoying it. So you will not have to worry about that. I, I love this planner. I do not regret it at all. And I cannot wait to set it up for the new year with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and happy planning.